each sort of take us back to 2017, the last time you were here at Kuala Lumpur Golf and Country Club. Angel, why don't you start us off? Uh, I think we were playing a different golf course back then. So I think we're playing on the men's play this year. So it's very exciting to see the layout. Of course, I think it's a bit more narrow than the last one we played. Again, it was like my rookie year and your rookie year. So it was a quite a, it was a long time ago. And, um, yeah. We played too many golf courses since then. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not as hot as last year. Oh, not last year, like 2017, because um, I thought I was going to pass out. Yeah, you know. Um, is this, is yeah. this working? No. Um, yeah, 2017 was so long ago, but um, I do remember how um, nice of a golf course is that this is. As Angel said, we're playing the other golf course. I think the champion side is what I recall and it is I think a little longer and a little bit more narrow as well and a lot hillier yeah yeah it is a lot hillier I didn't I didn't really realize that until you said it I just realized it was like um not as hot and really happy about that Angel I know we're just two weeks out from your first win on tour I I want to know what sort of support and um just feelings you've had these past couple of weeks as as the victory is more sinking in um, a lot of text messages, and I'm sorry I never got back to a lot of people. <laughs> Including me. <laughs> yeah, she was like, you didn't reply to me. I was like, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm also happy that I'm not the only person at Solheim to have not won. Um, so a lot of small accomplishments that uh, happened after I won. But uh, Asia weeks are really tight. We're playing a lot of tournaments back-to-back. Um, just grateful that I got one in one of them. Yeah. Nellie's still looking for your first win this year, um, but you're about to defend at Pelican and um, have a big opportunity this week with a really strong field. Um, how's your game shaping up and, and how are you feeling um, heading into this week? Yeah, uh, kind of a bit of a roller coaster this year uh, with my game, the consistency of it. Obviously, kind of was out with an injury in the middle part of the year, but haven't really been able to kind of gain any form or momentum so hopefully you know I can form something going into the last two in Florida as their home events and obviously defending Pelican so um, you know uh, we'll see what happens but hopefully I can you know create some momentum going into those two events. Awesome uh, I'd love to open it up to the floor we have some microphones floating around you know here Hi, ladies. Um, question for Angel. Um, so you 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 won in uh, in in China, and then you were fourth last week. So are you hoping perhaps for a win this this week? I mean, I think anyone who participates in an event wants to win. So that's something that we always hope for. Um, but you can't really set that as your goal. I mean. You, you do set that as one of your goals, but not something that you mainly focus on. Kind of want to just play day by day. Of course, this is difficult because uh, it's tight and it shows some challenges. So then we'll see how it goes after the first day, and then we'll play with however it is and see where I sit going into the final day. Um, then we'll take it from there. I have a question for Nelly. How has your season been this year, and uh, what are your hopes this week? Yeah, uh, I think season has been up and down. There have been really good finishes um, at the beginning of the year. Um, you know, golf felt really easy. I just was kind of top tending and then I got injured and kind of the momentum of my season kind of really shifted. Um, so kind of a little bit disappointing obviously um, but that's golf right you kind of have to ride the waves of it and uh, you got to kind of put your head down and sometimes work so I've been doing that and um, I'm hoping for a momentum shift going into you know this week and then the last two in Florida as well but um, yeah definitely a bit of an up and down year which you know um, they're sports so uh, I feel like um, athletes are always kind of in a spotlight. So when we have bad days, they're really magnified too. So unfortunately, you know, I've I've definitely had a few of those this year, but I'm hoping to change that momentum. 
So a question for the two of you. Uh, since you had played on, on both courses now, so how would you compare in terms of um, difficulty and playability and, you know? I don't really remember the first. I remember nothing. Yeah, 2017 <laughs> is so... I just remember it not being as hilly. I think there's more water on this golf course, a little bit more narrow. And the rough is actually really thick as well. Um, so hitting uh, fairways is probably going to be pretty crucial. But No phones, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> From what I, I what I remember, I think it's just not as hilly. I just have one memory. It was Suzanne Pedersen. I was on the par four. She was on the par three, hitting over the water. I think it was here, and she hit the shot. She goes, drops the f bomb. Yeah. That was my core memory. <laughs> wow. So yeah, Malaysia for me. <laughs> uh, any more questions out there? Oh, ask us something, please. Uh, do you have it? Sean, do you have any? No. I think you already asked what I was. Oh, okay. Ask. Awesome. Oh, well, more creativity. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was quick and easy then. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, just oh, kidding. We do have see? one more. There we go. Come on, once, twice, stole. <laughs> oh, don't get nervous now. Is that a cricket t-shirt? Okay. Hi, I'm Vignesh from uh, Banama here, local news agency. So I just want to uh, ask something on uh, what, what do you guys... Uh, oh, no. you can, you can just, okay. uh, we can hear you. I was super excited. Um, I remember coming here my rookie year in 2017, and one, I like playing in hot weather, and this reminds me a little bit of home, at, kind of with the warm weather, and I really like the golf course, the city. I mean, um, I think majority of the tour was really, really excited to come back to Malaysia. Well, I was looking at, I was playing the, the round, and I was looking at the grass, and I was like, this is Nellie's golf course. It looks exactly like Taiwan, where she won twice, and it looks like Pelican. The grass is, like, perfect for her. It's right back to Bradenton, Florida. Well, can you tell me where to visit? Because I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> well, I mean, there's that, what, twin twin thing? Twin tower. Yeah, the 100% the, the, the steel. Um, there's that cave. I'm a little scared. <laughs> I, went, I went to the Pavilion Mall on Monday, and I thought it was, like, the biggest mall I've ever seen. It, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I was well, very I'm not really overwhelmed. familiar with Malaysia. What is there to do? I mean, other than eat, a lot of mix of culture, which is really cool. It's like Singapore and steroids, no? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and much bigger. I mean, you give us a list, I'll do it. All right, thanks, lady. Wait, do we have one more? One oh, more. Sean does Ooh, have one. There we go, Sean. There we go. Now the crowd's getting rowdy. Go ahead, Sean. Come on. Yeah. I don't get I, to do I, much. I wasn't, sorry, I wasn't here at the beginning. You, you, but you guys both played um, uh, practice rounds, have you? Okay. Yeah, we played the prime. And then you were talking about the course, saying that it was, uh, you quite, it looks familiar like back home and all that. And For her home. What, uh, <laughs> okay. Um, Nelly, I, I think you finished fifth uh, the last time you played here. I think so. If I, if, if I can remember correctly. Yeah. So, um, and you were saying that you like coming out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I but really enjoy playing. For me, it's like a lot about weather too, and yeah. I and then the grass. I really enjoy playing on Bermuda grass. That's something I grew up on. And I've played pretty much my whole life on, and uh, I enjoy it warm, humid weather. Yeah, but there's there's a bit of rain in the air the last couple of days. Hopefully, it will. It's just a summer's day in Florida. Too. I mean, it's perfect for her. If you care to ask about my, I'm a spoiled brat from California who only likes to play in perfect weather. No rain, nothing, barely any breeze. No, everything has to be 70 degrees. Yeah. Anyway, the the, the forecast they said um, 
the rain will be gone by the time the tournament starts. So I think it will be nice and hot for you guys. And okay. good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.